Hello everyone, this is Gabriel and in this video I want to give you a quick overview of a basic setup for a virtual soundstage. Here I have a sampled performance of a solo harp which is going to be our source material, so let's take a listen. As you can hear, these samples sound as if the player is sitting right in front of us. This is a quite common situation, but our task will be to move this to a position that could work in an orchestral context. So let's open up Virtual Soundstage and take a quick look at it. For this particular example, we don't have to bother at all with the input offset, since our source material is already in center position. But of course there will be another tutorial just on that. Now let's choose a position where a harp player would sit, somewhere around here, and start the playback. Now I'm going to adjust the level of the early reflections and the direct signal. I'm also going to add some air absorption. Okay, that's it already for the settings in Virtual Soundstage. Now let's go on with the reverb. Normally I like to use an algorithmic reverb for this, but right now I want to show you how you can use Cubase's build and convolution reverb to manipulate an impulse response and make it work with the early reflections generated by virtual soundstage. First I'm going to set up a sand effect for this. And I'm going to load one of those crate free impulse responses by simplicity. It's going to be this one. Okay, here's what you want to do. First, raise the pre-delay to a medium level. And then we want to get rid of this part. So we are using this control. Right there. And also a little bit of this. Okay, so you can see what happened. Now we only have to set the right level in the reverb sand and we're good. Okay, now we're ready for a quick before after comparison. First, we're going to listen to our original source material. For this, I'm going to turn off both the reverb sand and the plugin. And now let's go back to our end result. Let's also listen to some other positions. Okay, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for some more videos soon. And if you now want to try it out by yourself, you can go to virtualsoundstage.com and download the free demo. Okay, thanks for watching and bye bye.